So today we're going to take a look at buffering. Buffering on your Fire Stick, Fire TV device is one of, well it's a pain, it's an absolute pain in the butt. Um, you can use these tips on other devices, whether it's Android TV, your actual TV itself, where is your mobile phone? Um, we're going to go through some tips, tricks, where you can try and figure out what's causing yours and just try and relieve your buffering. There's many different reasons for buffering, whether it's a stream you're watching, whether it's your internet, and we're going to go through some different things we can try and do to try and help it. Pretty much simple as that. So let me know in the comments underneath if there's any you do not know when we do these tips. And do remember, if you're a regular watcher here, do try and watch till the end, it really helps us out. If you're a new watcher, it will really help you out by watching to the end and subscribing to the channel where you'll find loads of other tips tricks, whether it's streaming, buffering, everything, all in one place. So let's have a look today. The initial thing we always need to check for buffering is you need to check your internet. Internet is key. Internet is what you need to stream, okay? So you can now check your internet directly on your Fire Stick, and it will also give you a tip on what you can stream. So if you go to your settings, go to your network, once you're on here, if you push the play button to check network status, that will load up this one here. And in here, you can run a speed test for accurate troubleshooting recommendations. So nice and easy, nice and helpful. So you can run your speed test, and it's very important to take a bit of a note of your speed test and if there's any noise on your internet. Because if you've only got, say, about 10, 20 megabytes download speed, do not pick large files to stream. I wouldn't recommend picking large files no matter what. but you know, when you're streaming, especially if it's not an official source, should we say, um, you know, you want to aim for a 1080p HD picture. Like my internet speed there is running at 64 megabytes today, which is actually quite slow for me, but we've got a lot going on in the house. And that, again, is where things come into play. My internet speed actually here should be about 900 down, but I'm quite a distance from my router, router. Um, there's multiple in my office, multiple internet connections going on. We've got two PCs. We've got xboxes we've got echo shows so much electronics which is noise around your device and that noise can cause interruptions okay it can take the signal your internet can be it's busy your internet's busy so it can stop and cause buffering so you want less electronics around your fire stick if you can and you want less internet connections around your fire stick if you can obviously in the front room this is normally a bit simpler but you may not need your TV connected while your Fire Stick's connected. You may not need multiple devices. And obviously streaming when loads of other people aren't on the internet in your house is very useful as well, okay? So, like even in the advanced, it will tell you your signal strength, it will tell you your noise, uh, signal to noise ratio, and everything like that. And it does help a little bit. Just double check these, have a look, it's there to help. But mine, obviously, is at 64. It's telling me I should try and stream 1080p videos. You, sh you should be able to stream 4K on 64 megabytes down, but I would aim for 1080p myself, which is full HD. No problem, but it's not your 4K. But again, check yours. Let me know your speeds in the comments underneath. A very good one to check. Right, next up, this is kind of, it's device specific, but on a Fire Stick, it's very important. If you go to your settings again, go to applications and just stop and manage installed applications and do not click it this is quite important is your internal space and you think you must be thinking what storage got to do with my streaming that's just how much i can fit on my device that's how many apps i can have what's that got to do with buffering and my storage so back to what we were just talking about how to stream your movie and tv show whether it's official or unofficial you need Obviously, you can only transfer so much over the internet, shall we say. So a large file, say you had a really large file, you need a fast internet, but you need somewhere to store that on your device to watch it. Okay, you don't store all of it, but when you stream, you download a portion of the movie, it's the part you are watching. This is why when you open a movie streaming app, it will ask you for storage permissions to access your storage, because you would download a temporary file onto your device, it's what you watch. And if you ever watch on a movie and you see that gray line going along, that is your buffer zone, the buffer area. And that area is there. So you download that portion of the movie and as you watch it, it gets deleted and then you download a bit more. And if you haven't got enough storage to download that file, you can only download a small bit. So you might watch quicker than it's downloading. You see, and then that's where the buffering causes because it's waiting for you to watch it to download the next bit so it can delete it. And that can cause buffering. And that's a really important factor in buffering. So you've got 
I'd I'd say keep yourself a gigabyte spare. That's my rule of thumb on this device. You could probably you can survive under it if you're watching small files, but one gigabyte spare is very useful on your internal storage. Okay, make sure it's on your internal storage as well. I know many of you add external storages, so make sure the gigabyte spare is on your internal storage where you can download those files, well, the videos and movies temporarily. Okay, temporarily. They do delete again afterwards, but it will help. If you need extra storage, go into your Manage Installed Applications. Once in here, you can sort your things here to ones you don't use. If you click on Sort to Recency, so you can find an app you don't use very often. So mine are a bit off because I've turned off certain bits, but something I haven't used for a long time. Um, uh, I don't know. Okay, let's get rid of Sports Tribal because I don't even know what it is. Um, push play to uninstall. And that will tell you how much space you're freeing up. You can also clear the cache on the apps. So there's a bit more space within the app itself as well. So you can pick an app if you wanted to um, clear the cache. Like there, we can clear that by pushing rewind. Confirm. And what you will see is we've got a bit more space there. Not a lot because we were just doing a demonstration. But you want to try and get one gigabyte there. Okay. As simple as that. Okay, next up, we can look at stopping your device doing too much in the background. Um, a Fire Stick only has so much processing power. There's not a lot of processing power, but there's plenty to stream with, okay? Whereas a computer, even a mobile phone, can have like 8 gigabyte of RAM, 10 gigabyte of RAM, 12 gigabyte of RAM. You know, you can have these numbers. A Fire Stick, majority have about 1.5 gig of RAM to 2 gig of RAM. That is because a Fire Stick only does one thing at once, okay? Ideally, one thing at once, maybe two. It might run a VPN and a movie. It might run um, a movie alone, maybe a video player and then a streaming app, two things. Whereas a phone, you will have multiple apps running at the same time, a PC even more. So two gigabyte of RAM or 1.5 gigabyte of RAM is plenty. But what you want to stop your device doing is running extra stuff in the background and doing too much. So if you go to your preferences, you can try turning off featured content. This stops the adverts playing at the beginning, so that helps. Um, I like to turn off data usage monitoring as well. That stops you being monitored while you're streaming and doing things. Again, a process running in the background. And another one to do, um, many of you will know this, we've been through it a fair few times. If you go into your search bar, type in background apps and processes. Use up a little bit of that storage we just cleared. Background apps and process list. Download this and install it. Click it open. And this will show you how many apps are running in your background. As you see, we haven't opened anything while making this video, but we've got six running in the background. Okay, so you can click close all apps and then you just click force stop on them. Ideally, you could clear cache on them as well and then force stop them. And then once you hit the force stop, you push the back arrow and you can go through and do all of them, okay? A lot of them run in the background, again, using up your, um, I'm not gonna do my VPN because I've got that running. They run in the background, using up your resources. You know, so now your background is free, you're ready to do your movie, and you're a lot more spared and ready to go. Does that make sense? I hope so. I hope those few little tips helped, and we're gonna bring you a few more throughout the week, so if you're after more tips on buffering and streaming do remember to hit the subscribe button quickly before you go if you are interested in a vpn we do have a great offer on this video if you are interested express vpn is a company we are working with a little bit now um, we are doing a bit more with them we're trying to bring you a few more options on the vpns we used to just bring one company we want to give you a bit more options of more companies okay so express vpn is linked underneath great for your online security express is very good for um speeds holding strong speeds so when it comes to streaming and we talked about internet speed earlier express is very good at that it's also very good at not being blocked by companies streaming apps everything like that they got 94 countries they've got security and encryption no logs no activity logs no connection logs which is a bonus all there on one app that is linked underneath for you as well as well as a few other little tips but if you go and check out the channel you will find all the videos you need if you look on the home screen the top 
one is a lot of five star videos which are a lot of tips a lot of helpful stuff um, then you've got all the videos here as well if you click on videos you'll find loads and if you just want some short tips we do have some shorts in there as well just for the quick tips to try and help you out brilliant i've been doc squiffy this is the doc squiffy channel hit that thumbs up drop me a comment hit that subscribe and i'll see you soon